courtesy of Hypebeast, we've got an early look at a new Tom Sachs Nike Craft general purpose shoe. Interesting, right? So it looks like we have no idea when the actual Mars Yard, whatever, that new one with the brown, sorry, with the rubberized toe at the front is going to come out. It looks like it's gone quiet. I'm not sure if it's going to come out later on or whatnot. So far, the only release that they had was when they gave them to the wear testers i'm not sure if the release has been postponed because of covid and because of the supply chain issues that will make a lot more sense but so far we've got another leak about another shoe that tom Sachs has put it together um under the nike craft moniker called the general purpose shoe and off the bat they're really ugly right they're really utilitarian they're really plain um you probably wouldn't look twice at them on the shoe shelf but i do like the fact that they are very consistent with what Tom Sachs kind of likes in terms of aesthetic, in terms of sneakers, with what they kind of like in terms of designers in their studio. And again, it just kind of is very representative of what he's about as a person. I like this. Like when he's been designing stuff with Nike, he could have easily gone and did a flipping industrialized version of an Air Force One or of a Dunk. But instead, he kind of built his own model, quote unquote, from the ground up and kind of imbued bits onto it like with the soul that catches dirt little things that he's kind of very much for um design principles ways of living in terms of you know being fit and healthy you know organization of the studios when it comes to the 10 bullet principles like all these sort of things are basically imbued and and kind of the shoe's basically a living manifestation of it and i like the fact that this shoe that definitely look if you if you didn't know what the clover lab was and i told you after the fact you'd be like, oh yeah that makes sense it definitely looks like a tom Sachs shoe doesn't it and again the the fact that it's called general purpose maybe lends itself more to an evolution or a progression of what he's done with the mars yard maybe this is the next step up where it's like okay instead of the mars yard being more so of like a general because whenever we've seen mars yard co um content it's always been around the design studio the, the obviously the tom Sachs studio um people commuting to work uh people living their lives um um, yeah, design studio, commuting to work, working out, and that was it basically. But this general purpose shoe might be everything in between. It might be the shoe that you go to the studio with or you change into on your way to Lucian's or whatever, whatever bar these people go to, right? That might be the shoe that they're kind of trying to promote with this new general purpose shoe. It might be the shoe that you wear to a meeting. It might be the shoe that you wear to your um, exhibition opening or to a gallery Ex, you know a, a gallery open day or whatever it may be called right or first Thursday, whatever they do right um do first Thursdays even happen anymore they don't right during the pandemic they're done in it when's the time you've been to a first Thursdays where you go to an art gallery or you go to a district where all the art galleries are and they all open their doors for an exhibition they give you wine and drinks and whatnot like or basically a gallery opening but in, in London we have these first Thursdays things which are always amazing there are always places to go and like you know score loads of free drinks and see if you could pick up some milfs <laughs> uh, see if they could sponsor your life and be your flipping um your patron right um or whatever it may be called but yeah this is the logo underneath it says here general purpose shoe it's got the obviously the tags on it and all the labeling and whatnot so again no idea when these are going to come out no idea if they're going to be more colorways usually it doesn't do more colors usually it's just one colorway so maybe this might be the fact or maybe this might be an evolution of it maybe this might be him slowly filling the shoes of what sakai have done previously i don't i doubt it because i don't think he likes to do as many projects with nike as sakai like to do so i don't know but this could be interesting maybe this is one shoe of seven one shoe of four five i don't i doubt it maybe it's just a whole purpose again it looks it looks if you're wearing the general purpose shoe that could be worn in different sort of maybe settings above a design studio like again like i said a gallery event a bar a restaurant you could maybe get into you could maybe get into shortage house wearing these with a pair of shorts and stuff right because it looks a little bit smarter you put on a flipping button-up shirt on a, a unicorn oxford you could probably get in in most places for sure so maybe this sort of colorway and this sort of palette works well in those kind of things and you know the uh, you know the, the more kind of chunkier sole allows you to be a little bit more or, um to not take the shoes so you know to not be so precious about the shoes um you can basically you know cover most environments and terrains with them so maybe that makes a lot more sense but i just do like the general look of him like i said i like the fact that they're fucking ugly i like the fact that they're plain as hell i like the fact that they again personify or represent what tom Sachs is about and he design ethic and design um ethics and principles and whatnot his codes i also like the fact that they are basically maybe an evolution or a step above what he's done with the mars yard in terms of them being a shoe that you maybe could go to a restaurant or a cocktail bar to go and wear them with and so far we've got no details on when they've been to come out here according to hypebeast official release details for these are unknown but it's likely that they'll see release sometime in 2022 oh duh i love when they just they 
I love the fact that honestly, I used to write for Hypebeast back in the day. I was one of the first writers when they first launched on the blog spot back in the day. So big up Kevin Ma, absolute legend. Used to get paid through PayPal, writing little uh, excerpts and whatnot of blog entries. I wasn't that great. I wasn't that great or consistent at it, which is why I kind of left, or which is why I didn't start, I stopped doing it, or my login stopped working. I don't know what happened, but I was one of the first people on there, regardless. And this is always a bit of a talent to develop over time to write all this fluff about something that you have no insight on, no information. Again, at that time, I'm sure it's maybe the same now. Maybe it's different, but back then the brands didn't like to give Hypebeast any insight, any promo shots. Nike would consistently email in and tell us to delete stuff. Like people didn't like their news being spread. Now they they probably rush and give these sites packs and send them money and give them free stuff to post stuff, right? Okay, I'm not I'm not accusing anybody of anything, but let's be honest, the climate now has definitely changed. But back in the day, they wouldn't even look at you, right? When it came to you posting these sort of things. So um but it's just funny that now it's the same thing as it applies when it comes to leaks because you don't want to ask them about this sort of stuff because they're never going to tell you anyway. But you still have to manage to write 500 or so words about a shoe you have no idea um, why it exists, who did it, if that is real, maybe it's a rep. I mean, you have no idea. You just have to write words or whatever and kind of make it make sense. And big up the writer who did so here, um, Elliot Santiago. It's not an easy job. Again, I did it before myself. I've written for Hype Beast, written for Nikes, Nice Kicks, no, Sneaker News, Nice. Yeah, Sneaker News, Nice Kicks. And who else? That was it, innit? Yeah, those are the main ones I wrote for back in the day. I tried to write for Simon Hype. They didn't want me a um, long, long time ago. I don't know if they're still around them more. I think they were called Slam. They went to Slam magazine. I'm not sure if the, I don't. Sure, I wonder what the guy's doing now at the moment. He's got stores. You got another thing going. I don't wonder what they're doing now. Um, but that was a good time. But yeah, um, Tom Sachs, Nike, Nike Craft, General Purpose shoe. No idea what the date's gonna come out, but hopefully they're gonna come out soon.